So I used to make these videos called what the fuck moment videos and there's a few on my YouTube page and then I just stopped doing them. But I literally have shit happen to me like almost every day and people that know me know I'm not fucking lying and it'd be dumb shit. Like, every day, though, you know what I mean? That's why I'm just like, what the fuck? Um, so I have a couple things <laughs> that are what the fuck moment videos. One thing is, I went to the post office today, and I have this thing in the po in the, in the box, in the, in the box, and it says, I got a package. Okay, cool. So I go to the front desk, it's like, give them this, and they usually just give me my shit. But she's came back and was like, I don't see anything. Like, literally, that's just it. I don't see anything. So I'm like, okay, so... It says I have a package. <laughs> like, what do you want me to say? I don't work there. So what do you what do you want from me? Um, I, I'm thinking it just made me feel like she was trying to just say, I don't see it. And I'm supposed to say, okay, no problem. And walk off. No, where's my shit? And why the fuck don't you have it? Because the ticket obviously says I have something. It's my name is on it and it's typed. Where's my shit? Where is it? You saying I don't know where it's at is not helping me at all. So anyway, I said to her, so what does that mean for me? Because she wasn't like helping at all. Like she was very nice. Don't get me wrong, but no direction. So she was like, you got to file a claim. Okay, so I'm going to just assume that I'm going to do that online? She was like, yeah, okay, okay. And do you have a sender? Like, do you have any information on this package? She said, no. All right. <laughs> All right. So anyway, somebody sent me a package. I don't know what the fuck it is. I don't know where the fuck it is. So what the fuck? So, this is not a very becoming um, angle for me. <laughs> anyway, number two. This is all going to be just one big old video. Yesterday, I decided I wanted some biscuits and gravy. I'm not going to name the restaurant because it's one of my favorite restaurants. And the owner is really nice. And I've had several conversations with him. So, I'm not putting him on blast. But... I go to get the biscuits and gravy at 1.30. Mind you, the restaurant does close at 2. Okay, I understand y'all trying to leave. However, I'm trying to get my biscuits and gravy, and I know that shit already made. Like, all you got to do is literally heat it up. The biscuits are already made. It ain't like you fitting to bake me some fresh-ass biscuits right now. The biscuits are made, and so is the gravy. Just got to heat it up. And so, um... I go in, 30 minutes is plenty of time for me to get my food and eat, and them to still get out of there at 2 o'clock. And the girl seating me sat me at a pub table, which is one of those high, high seat tables, which I don't like because I'm short and my legs fall asleep. So I asked for a short table. And she gave me one, and she put. She didn't say, oh, yeah, no problem. No, no words exchanged. She just took the menu and put it on the table. Table was dirty, and so was the seat with crumbs all over it. Not a problem. I am not tripping at this point. And um, I asked another waitress for a rag so I could wipe the table off. I don't have a problem doing that. She came over, bro. She came over, wiped the table off and stuff. And, um, yeah, that's cool. So I'm sitting there. I already know what I want, so I'm just waiting for somebody to come take my order. I'm looking all around, y'all, just because I'm very observant. <laughs> I like to know my surroundings. But, um, dude comes up to my damn table. White dude. Can I take your drink order? I'm like, I'm actually ready to order. I asked you, could I take your drink order? I said, I'm ready to order my food. Just forget it. You can leave. Like, what the fuck? He was like, you can leave. Nobody serve her. And I'm calling the police. That's what he said. I said, 
Call the motherfucking police. I don't give a fuck. I'm calling the owner. And I did. <laughs> I called the other restaurant, their main restaurant. And he wasn't there, but I talked to the manager over there and told her what happened. And she was just like, what? Because she knew who I was. Um, and just the fact, like, what the fuck? Like, is wrong with your ass, bro? Like, you've got the wrong one, like, dead ass. Um, and so, owner ends up calling immediately and talking to him. And then got somebody else to take my order. And she was really nice. Took my order. And I sat there and enjoyed my breakfast. And I go out to my car after I eat or whatever. And there was, like, more words than that exchanged. And I was just as hostile because when I'm approached negatively, you're going to fucking get it back. Dead ass. You're going to get it back. And that's just like a human reflex. Um, so, I'm sitting in the car fucking with my phone because I'm getting ready to post them, a picture of them. Um, and the police pull up. And I'm like, damn, that motherfucker really did call the police. I'm waiting for them motherfuckers because I know I ain't did shit wrong, so fuck it. So the police gets out the car. She goes in. It was a lady. She goes in the restaurant. And the restaurant's closed by now. And comes back out and gets back in her car. She ain't say shit to me. So I was like, oh, she, she must not know it's me. So I fucking just left and went to Wawa. I get to Wawa and I call the other restaurant back to tell her. Because I told the girl that he said he was going to call the police on me. And she was like, no, nah, he probably ain't. And I was like, you know he dead ass called the police on me? Like, for real? She was like, did he really? And I was like, yes. And I said, I just wanted to let you know he really did call the police on me. He, I, She ain't say nothing to me, but she pulled up and went in the restaurant. And then, like, five minutes later, the owner calls me back. And he says, I just want you to know I am so sorry that that happened. But he didn't call the police on you. I called the police on him because he tried to sneak out the back door with two bottles of liquor. And all I have is females in there. So I wanted to make sure they were safe. And you ain't got to worry about him no more. He's fired. So didn't karma work fast for his ass? But yeah, it was just fucking weird, bro. Nobody wants your bad energy. Keep that shit at home, bro. I went in there just to fucking eat and leave like I always do. And I have to endure random bullshit from someone else. I don't fuck with nobody. I fuck with nobody. But that's not to be confused with me letting people fuck with me either. I'm quick to snap back. But yeah, when I left the restaurant, I really wanted to say, I'm going to tell you what I really wanted to say. You was a little bitch is what I wanted to say. But I didn't because I wanted to be the bigger person and I'm trying to work on my temper. Um, But I did say to him, thanks for the breakfast. I really appreciate it because <laughs> he did not want me to eat today, um, yesterday. But yeah, there you go. My two what the fuck moments back to back yesterday and today. Man, I might post another one and this will go on YouTube because it won't fit nowhere else. Well, it'll fit on TikTok. It won't fit on Instagram. Peace.